Hi everybody, Wendy Morris here for Frog Dog Studio, design team member, and I am sharing up with you my project for the April 2014 mixed media kit and also in using the April add-on kit. The title I have on my project this month is going to be Self-Reflections. It's one of two projects that you'll see from me this month. Um, and also going along with my theme for the month, I'm using a mini series, so make mine mini. So I use some mini versions of items in this kit and also you're going to see it in my project as well. So what you're going to get in this particular kit is you're going to get uh, one Illumides powder and red plum. One stays on MIDI ink pad and claret. One stays on MIDI ink pad and blue Hawaii. One eyes ink, pigment ink bottle in gold. One stampendous mica fragments jar and pearlized. One dusty attic chipboard set of the birds. One stampendous mini clipboard canvas pack. One set of the canvas minis and by Canvas Corp. Three sheets of the deco patch tissue paper and 16 of the Tim Holtz clear fragments. Uh, in random sizes and shapes. So basically there is so much jam packed in this kit valued at over $45 but hey if you subscribe you're going to get even a better deal on that. Subscribers get it for $35.50 single purchase is $37.50 um, and so you also are going to save a little bit too on the shipping so definitely hit that up on the frog dog page to go ahead and subscribe. Also this month we have the amazing clear cast and the amazing mole putty and I cannot really say enough about this add-on kit. There's just so much creativity and possibilities available in this kit for you. Um, you will see in my project today that I am using the amazing clear cast resin and you're going to see a lot of what the possibilities are with this. Um, so don't let the add-on kit intimidate you by any means because it has a lot of different features that we're going to be showing you all month with the design team as well as the amazing um, mold putty and clear cast design team. They're also going to be showing up some projects using the Frog Dog Studio Mixed Media kit so we're tag teaming out on this and we're gonna just really show you lots of creativity um, the mixing of the resin and the mold putty it's really not complicated it's really part of a two-part series um, in mixing um, the solutions that are included in each kit so I think you're gonna find that once you see it demonstrated here in my video that you're gonna definitely want to pick up that add-on kit so let's get started with my project self-reflections so I decided to make a mixed media necklace with my April mixed media kit, as well as using the resin in the add-on kit. So you're going to see that I'm using a lot of the deco patch tissue paper. Obviously, I'm using the resin um, inside the bezels. And then also, I'm going to use some of the clear fragments. So I gathered my supplies, including the Stazon ink, the two um, ink colors that are included in the kit, the eyes ink. Um, again, here are also some more of the fragments. I really love these fragments. They're so versatile. Also gathered some bezels, um, some jewelry bezels. I started by using gel medium, which is modeling paste and also a template on some watercolor paper. You will see now that I took some of the eye zinc, which is a very concentrated pigment. You can dilute it a little bit with water. And then I started using a watercolor effect over my dried modeling paste script. Now a little bit more about the eye zinc pigment inks. These are acrylic based inks that are very richly pigmented and they're very versatile and by diluting a very small amount of ink with water you can use a pretty generous amount of water depending on how light you want the color. A little goes a long way and they also can be used as I said as watercolor. Next I'm going to use my stays on ink pads um, I, they come in the blue Hawaii and also the claret color, really rich, beautiful colors. So I'm taking my preferred stamp of choice and I'm going to use this by stamping on watercolor paper or just a nice cardstock would also work. Next, I'm also going to take my clear fragments and you can also use the ink on the clear fragments. So here you see the stamped effect of using the claret color, uh, that really rich red on the paper. Then I'm going to cut them to size and also using the deco patch papers um, to the size of my bezels. I also took mini canvases and I used some stamps or just take pencil drawings as well. And then here you see my, my nice range of embellishments. I'm using some of that rusting powder also from the March mixed media kit along the edges of my bezels to just age and distress them along with some of the inks, some alcohol inks, 
distress paints. Now here comes the magic with the amazing clear cast resin. What we're going to do here is we're going to take the two containers that are going to be included inside the package. You have an A side and a B side, two little cups, and then also you need a mixing um, cup or container that's going to hold your two solutions. We're going to take the A solution, pour it, it's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's going to be one, the same measurement of the A, you're going to use the same measurement of the B. So you desire the amount, the amount desired is going to depend on the amount of the project that you have. So also I'm going to use the same amount for the B container, from the B container as well. And so then, as you can see here, we have equal portions, one-to-one -one ratio here. We're scientists, right? <laughs> okay, next we're going to take our, just a container. Make sure this is a container that you do not mind throwing away. Warning, the resin will harden. And so you don't want to use something that is going to be something you want to reuse. You want to let the bubbles dissolve themselves as much as possible before you pour it into your bezel. The bezel is going to need to have time to uh, level out and then this is going to be the effect that you have after the resin is dried. It's a really nice clear resin that does not yellow which is what I really love about this amazing clear resin. Also I use some rub-ons and such to embellish some of my clear fragments. And as the drying time takes quite a bit of time, I live in the humid south, so as I'm waiting on the drying of the resin, I use some embellishments to um, also crank up and um, make my other bezels. Here you see a nice effect with the tissue paper and the resin. And then also you see that nice modeling paste effect and the eye zinc inks. I use some of the alcohol inks to dye um, a little bit of my chain of the necklace so that it blends in a little bit more with the colors of the papers. Next you're going to take your jump rings. These are just simple jewelry jump rings and you're going to lay out your necklace as you want your embellishments. Even it out so that not all the heavy embellishments are one on one side before you start adding your jump rings. And this is what I always do with every mixed media necklace or project like this that I make. Then I'm going to use my paper piercer, which is a Tim Holtz uh, paper piercer, to punch the holes where I want my jump rings to go. And also I want to add to that I applied uh, using the tissue paper to the clear fragments using glossy accents. So that's one method that you can use to make sure that your adhesive does not show through on the clear fragments. Um, I also want to add to that the drying time for the resin takes about 24 to 48 hours depending on humidity. So hope you enjoyed it.